and my business is Passion to Profit. I help passionate business owners to make a profit, a sustainable, profitable business. So one thing that we're going to talk about today, I'm just going to talk about one thing and that is your money mindset. So what is going on? Have you got enough clients? Do you find that you're scraping? You haven't got enough money in the bank for your business to move forward in your business, to pay your bills, to go on holidays with your kids, whatever it is that's going on for you around money. I'm going to give you two simple ideas today that have really, really helped me to overcome my mindset when it came to money. So question number one, the, the first part of this happened for me, I'd say about four years ago when I looked at my values. Here we go again. <laughs> values, values, values. And this is just one of the questions that I will be posing at the workshop. I will be giving this in my content on Saturday at the values workshop. And that is, and this is where I really, really saw clearly how I was conditioned, how my mindset was really wrong when it came to money and making money and holding on to money and having money. And that was this question here. So if you have a pen and paper, write this down. What was your childhood experience, your childhood lessons when it came to success or money? So what was your childhood lesson? Or lessons when it came to money. How were they portrayed? So how was this portrayed? So there's a couple of questions. or four questions for you. What values remain today? And the last one was, are they true? So let's just talk about that. So the lessons in my childhood, what came up for me four years ago, was like, oh my God, it was like looking back to see what was going on when I was a child. Now, true no fault of uh, my parents, most parents, working parents, you know, we didn't have a lot of money. We didn't have a lot of excess money or lifestyle money, as I like to call it. So it was pretty much hand to mouth, okay? So it was hand to mouth. But the conversations around money in our house wasn't great. You've probably heard this lots of times. But for me, the memory was, when it came to success, it was well for them. Uh, if they had lots of money, there was questions around how they made their money, okay? Uh, greed, so there was a lot of feelings around greed. Oh my God, what would you do? What would you need all that money for? So there was always this negative vibe around having money, having success, having a, a role, like a managerial role or owning your own business. So I'm sure that came from generations and generations before my parents but this was my lessons that I grew up with when I was a child. So when I asked myself, the question was, how were they portrayed? So they were portrayed in conversations. They were portrayed in um, never being enough money. So we didn't go on exclusive holidays. We had the same dinners day in, day out. We got bags of clothes off people. All this is good. I'm not here saying, oh, I had a rotten childhood. I had a grand childhood. It was okay. Like, um, but what I'm saying is this was how it was portrayed. This was what it was like for me as a child growing up. So the values that were there around money was not of a good one. It was it was a negative. It was never a priority uh, in our house to have money. Money was not the priority. The priority in our house was to work hard and have dinner on the table and have a nice home. That was the values, was to have the nice home and be able to feed the kids. Now, as I got older, of course, we all want better. We want more for our children. So for me, my mindset when I grew up was to do better than they had done. So it was to, you know, have a foreign holiday. So Ian has mentioned this many times. Our only goal every year was what holiday were we going on? Okay, our money mindset was absolutely atrocious. It was, can we pay the bills? Can we pay the mortgage? Can we go on a holiday? Can we have nice cars? And after that, there was not much, you know, there was no value put on it, on the savings, on having money there, etc., etc. So <clears throat> what happened was I had taken those lessons, those childhood lessons, and I'd taken them with me through to my adulthood, okay? So once I had a business that was paying the bills, um, I was be able to get my nails done, get my hair done, do the simple things in life. Everything was okay. 
So when I went to try and make more money than that, it was hard. It never seemed to be. No matter how much services or product I was offering, my bank account didn't change. It always just said that just a little bit over broke, just a little bit over broke. Oh, something needs to go or I need to buy something just back to a little bit over broke. And there was never any progression. So looking at your, what were your childhood lessons? How were they portrayed? What values do, are you still holding on to? What is your values around success and money today? And are they true? Are they true? So when I honestly took a look at this, I changed my belief. I Once I saw that this was not a belief that I believed in, I was able to change it to my own beliefs, which is poor people can't help poor people and the money is there for the good guys. Uh, and it's not for the bad guys as well. It's for everybody. There is money in abundance. There is There will never be a shortage of money. There will be a shortage of time, but never a shortage of money. There is plenty of money, enough money to go around. And it is ours should we choose to take it. We all have the same amount of hours in a day. We all have the same amount of days in a week. There is money in abundance and it is mine for the taking. And you know what? It's not my God. Money is not my driving force. But I value, but I value the experiences that I can have and that I can give to others with money. So I taken something that was an old lesson that had old, oh, not old values, somebody else's values. And I reframe that to, to put my own truth, to put my own belief and to change my value of how I see money. Okay, so that is just around the value.